I'm gonna do a couple uh, astronomy related videos. I'm gonna show you, uh, talk about the synodic versus the sidereal period of the moon. So in astronomy we learned that the sidereal period of the moon, basically if this is the sun, and here is the earth, let's say here's the moon, the sidereal period is the time for the moon to go around the earth come back to the same point that it began, okay? So that's sidereal period. And we learned that that's about 27 days. It takes 27 days for the moon to go around, come back to the same point. Now, at the same time that the moon is going around that way, the Earth is now a little bit ahead. Right? Because the Earth is not stationary within the 27 days, the Earth has also moved. Right? So, if the Moon starts in this position, and the Sun is here, the Earth is here, the Moon will be in full Moon. This is full Moon. Okay? That means the people on the nighttime side of Earth will be able to see the Moon. Okay? So, this is the nighttime side of the Earth. They'll be able to see the moon because the moon is opposite to the sun. However, 27 days later, so let's say this is about 27 days. 27 days later, the earth is here and the moon has to go a little bit longer to get to here. Okay? So that it's lined up with the earth and the sun. So for the full moon to go around and then repeat as a full moon, the Earth, the moon has to go a little bit farther. That's known as the synodic period. Synodic period. And we learned that that's about 29 days. So in this video, I'm going to show you based on physics and based on rotation, why this is 27 and why this is 29. Okay. So let's first show you the 27 days. Where does that come from? Well, that comes from basically um, the gravitation force F equals G M 1 M 2 over distance squared is equal to M 2 V squared over R. Okay? So let's call this one the mass of the Earth mass of moon and then this is mass of moon right so uh, the force of gravity of the earth on the moon is what causes the moon to go around the earth so the mass of the moon cancels out this gives you G G is the gravitational constant and it's equal to 6.67259 6.67259 times 10 to the minus 11. That's the gravitational, uh, the gravitational constant we call that. The mass of the Earth is 5.974 times 10 to the 24th kilogram divided by the distance. The distance is the distance between the Earth and the Sun. Uh, sorry, between the Earth and the Moon, right? And that one is going to equal um, 384,400 kilometers, about. So it's 3.844, so 384,400 kilometers. So 3.844 times 10 to the uh, 8 meters. Square that. Now, what's the R? The R is a the R from circular motion. When a force is exerted on an object going in circular motion, the R is the radius of the circular orbit. But in this case, the R is the same thing as the D. Right? It's going in a circular orbit. So we just put R is the same as thing is D. Okay. Well, what's going to happen if you put here D? The D is going to cancel one of the Ds, so I don't even have to square this. Right? Uh, so now this is going to equal the velocity of the velocity squared, okay? 
So this is going to tell us the, velo the orbital velocity of the moon as it's going around the Earth. 6.67259 times 5.974 times 10 to the power, and then the power of the 10 is 13, divided by 3.844 divided by 10 to the power 8. Square root that. So the velocity of the moon is going to be 1018.329 meters per second going around the Earth. 1,000 meters per second, which is about 2,300 miles per hour. 2,300 miles per hour, that's pretty fast. Now, if I want to know how many seconds it takes the moon to go around, you put velocity of the moon is equal to 2 pi d over period because the circumference of the distance that it goes around is 2 pi d. So the period is going to be 2 pi d and d is equal to 3.844 times 10 to the 8 divided by the velocity 1018.329. So I take the answer that I just got, okay, then I, did, I do this, 2 times pi times 3.844 times 10 to the power 8 divided by 1018.329. The period is going to be 23.71784.0 this huge number. But that is in seconds, right? It gives you in seconds. So um, two million three hundred and seventy-one thousand seven hundred eighty-four seconds. That's how long it's going to take the moon to go around the Earth. Thirty-six hundred seconds is one hour. So you could divide this by thirty-six hundred seconds. You get 658 hours. And then of course 24 hours is one day. You get 27.45 days, okay? So uh, this is gonna be the, this, the time that it takes to go and come back to the same point. That's the side real period. 